What's up guys, we back this time with another story time video. I know the title is a little bit confusing, but uh, don't worry. You'll understand when I explain it. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna tell you guys though, before, before we even get to how all this craziness happened, I wanna tell you guys what happened. I'm gonna start you off to, this, to the beginning, okay? I'm gonna take you guys with me. So, you know, as I already told you guys, if you watch a couple of my videos, you know how me, my brothers and my cousins, how hard we partied and all the crazy shit we've gotten into and all of the crazy shit. There's so much more you guys don't know about. All right, so at the time, you know, we were all single. This was around the time when Facebook like just started popping. It was like, you know, like, before catfish. You how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would. Before all of that. So we used to be like on the internet heavy, like like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just trying to find stuff to do or girls to meet. Like, Kiss me through the phone. Kiss me through the phone. Like, you know, so my brother, he ended up meeting these girls. Now, as you guys already know, it's a lot of, it's like a bunch of us. Like I told you guys, you know, we were in the two bedroom, whatever, it was like 12 of us staying there whatever all right so my brother ended up meeting these girls and they were like they were cool like we kicked it with them so that way they couldn't catfish us like or or play us or anything like we, we used to always like we'll drive over there and just kick it with them and stuff and see what was up so they ended up being cool so we invited them all like we was like hey you know what we should do because you guys are single and we're single we should all go to the movies like as a date and they were like what like you guys gonna pay for us they didn't know at the time what going to the movies with us was like okay so what we would do was we was like yeah you know what like don't worry about it like you don't gotta worry about no money no nothing like just just come just come you know come hang out so that was like uh i think it was like a thursday i believe my brother like we all planned or whatever now, as you guys know, new movies come out like every week, like every Friday and Saturday. So, and Saturday. So, like on Friday, the movie theater is packed. So, that's the best time for us to do what we used to do, was a Friday or a Saturday, because it's always packed. And I'm gonna tell you guys what it is we used to do. Okay, so, anyway, the girls come and they meet us. Hey, look, this is so, you know, uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what movie theater we were going to, but it was in Long Beach. Now, before we would go to the movie theaters, we would stop at this store. And if you're from Long Beach or Compton or Downey or Bellflower, and you know all about Atlantic Farms. Uh, all of the alcoholics! Everybody knows about Atlantic Farms. And, you know, we would stop there. We would buy these dollar shots. They were like shots of gin. They had shots of vodka. They had shots of anything you wanted was a buck. It was like in this big bucket. Shots, 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 shots. Shot. So we like 19, 20, you know, we like, oh, shit. Like, we reen up. We used to buy these Arizona, like the big Arizona cans and just pour our liquor in there. So that you know nobody would know so we got a bunch of liquor for the girls and a bunch of liquor for ourselves we meet them at the movie theater it's not too far from where we were going it's like 20 or 30 minutes away so we like boom we meet them down there and uh so we outside they're like what are we gonna see like we all talking about what we're gonna see it's like 24 of us so at this movie theater okay at this movie theater there's like this uh there's so many like ways you can get in but there's a TGI Fridays right here, and then you can see the back doors to the movie theater, like if somebody leaves out. So what we used to do was, we would have my fat cousin that's shaped like Tasmanian Devil. We would have him go to the front of the movie theater, like when people come out and ask for their movie ticket. You know, people not knowing, they just like, yeah, you can have this. Like people don't care about a movie ticket when it's done. They're like, yeah, you can have this. He would go back in, he would go in the movie theater and be like, He'd be like, this is how you talk too. So I'm, I gotta clear my, my voice. He'd be like, hey, uh, I just watched this movie and I don't like it. So like he'll go in there tripping and this movie theater, they don't like getting bad reviews. I'm gonna have a BF. Oh my God, she's gonna have a bitch fit. <gasps> so they would be like, okay, okay, what's wrong? Like, wait right here, we'll talk to the manager. So when the lady would walk off that's in front, and like in front of the door to go get the manager, he would leave, go inside the movie theater, sneak around, like sneak into the empty theater and open the door and then we would all come in. Sometimes the movie theater would be crowded because people would be in there and sometimes they wouldn't. But we would always sneak in through theater 12. So we sent my cousin, you know, to, to, to do a little scam. 
you know, because we smooth like that, like Ocean's 11 or something. That's, we are the ultimate finessers. So anyway, we sent him to do that. And the girls, before we even go in, they all are like, why are we standing right here in the back? Like, isn't the movie theater that way? So we like, wait a minute, you gonna see? So all of a sudden, my cousin opens the door. They like, what? Like all the girls, they excited now. They're like, what? Like we never did nothing like this. I ain't never did this before, no. I'm like, don't worry. Like this is, we do this every, we literally did this almost like every week. Whenever a movie would come out, we we wouldn't pay for no movie theaters. So we like, like, like imagine, just imagine. Imagine you in a movie theater, you know, you, you in a movie, you watching a movie and then 24 freaking people walk up out of the dark spot. Uh, you know where it says exit? People used to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And we're just walking in, we drunk, falling over and shit. So, cause you know, I was falling cause I can't see. You guys know my, and, I, and yes, I still had those glasses. I'm gonna find them though and show you guys. Bad it, bitch. Bad, bad. So anyway, we sneak in the movie theater. Now there's always that one person, like sometimes we used to have to be careful because it's always this one person that was like, he or she would go to the front desk and be like, a bunch of people just snuck in through the back. Like, I don't even know why it bothered her. So this time they did that. So we all ran, you know, like we looking, everybody's looking for like the movie we were supposed to see because nobody knows, we don't have a ticket. So we all running, like everybody split up. We running like down the hall, everybody searching. And so finally, one of my brothers found it and he hit us on the phone like, hey, it's theater such and such. So we go, you know, the movie didn't even start yet. We go. A bunch of us go, it's like, it's like halfway empty and it's like halfway not. Like, you know how it's like in between like your still seats. So we was like, hey, let's not all sit together. You know, like everybody sit with your date, but split up because that way if they did follow us, you know, they're not gonna know who all of us are. Of course, my fat cousin is drunk. He got on turquoise pants, a white t-shirt, and he, he's a skater. So I don't know, maybe that's why he dressed like that. I don't know. You look like Pinocchio. No. Anyway. He, first off, you got on turquoise pants. You cannot hide with that. Everybody's gonna see you. So, you know, he's sitting in the front. So, you know, before the movie starts, you know how they about to turn the lights off and telling you, please silence your phone. One of the guys comes in that, that be having like a little light to check the tickets. He flashed a light on my cousin because they described him when we came in through the back door of the other theater. They was like, it's the one with turquoise pants. You can't miss him. Everybody else had on black and you know, like he, here he come. Standing out. So the guy's flashing the light. He's like, he's walking in the other person like, he said turquoise pants with a white shirt. So my cousin, like, they, they stopped the movie and the lights come on. So we all like, oh shit. Like the girls are scared. My cousin date that's sitting with him. She didn't really look like she was with him, but she was. So the guy flashed the light. He like, hey, uh, he like, hey, you gotta go. Like you have to leave now. So my cousin, he drunk, he like, he tried, first off, he tried to play sleep. While the guy is talking to him and flashing it in his face, he's like, hey, he's like, sir. And my cousin like this. He, and then the more the guy would talk, the louder he would try to snore. He was. So the girl that he with, she like. Stupid motherfuckers. Like now I can tell that it's pissing her off. So she like, what the fuck? She thinking to herself like, what did I just get myself into? My cousin, my cousin, the one with the, ooh, with the voice. He ain't saying nothing because you're not going to kick him out. And my brother, like, with the, the skinny one, the white tweet, he next to us. And he, like, I can hear him saying, stupid ass boys, idiot. These guys are not too smart. So, after my cousin finally woke up, I think he realized, like, you know, this sleep thing ain't gonna work. So the guy made him go out the back door. This idiot goes to the car, puts on a hat and some glasses, and come back in the movie theater. Hello, Mama Ramos. What, what are you doing out here? He paid for a ticket to come back in. He didn't change his outfit. He didn't change his shoes. He put on a red hat and some black glasses and came back in. So we watching the movie and like 10 minutes into it, after he got in, you know, we all sitting there. Everybody started laughing when he came back in because everybody knows you. you. We know it's you. Even people that wasn't with us was laughing. He came back and sat in the same spot. So then the guy, he was coming to do his little rounds, his sweeps, and he stopped. Like he noticed, like, he was like, what the fuck? So he flashed the light. He was like, dude, he's like, dude, I told you, you gotta go. My cousin gonna say, this ain't me. <laughs> That's not me, you're talking to. So 
<laughs> while he arguing with the guy, there's just like this this couple next to us, like next to them. The guy, we couldn't tell at the time that he was that big. He looked like he was short because he was slouched in his seat. And it was him and his skinny girlfriend. He was like, yes, it is. That's the same guy. So my cousin getting mad now. He's like, I'm going to fuck you up. To the guy. The guy not saying nothing back. So we like, oh, this guy. Like, you just told. Like, you don't even know what you got yourself into. Because I don't think he knew that all of us was together. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. So my cousin like, I'm going to wait for you. And my cousin's one of those people. Like, when he say he going to wait. He gonna, he gonna wait out there. So the movie ends. Now I'm thinking this guy, you know, we all thinking, we all texting each other like, hey, this guy, like, I don't think he know that. What's like, you know, he's out there waiting for him. So everybody laughing. We like, hey, whatever happened, happened. We shouldn't have just went home. So after that ends, the movie ends, we all get up. Now the guy gets up. A big ass, first off, he had a big back. He had some big ass shoulders. He was like Hispanic or something. And this is how I knew that nobody in the theater wanted any of him. I don't think my brothers and them caught on as quick as I did and my cousin. But I know, I know when, when it's like my ass whooping senses go off. Uh, spider sense going crazy. He had on, when he got up, he was big as shit already. That's sign number one. I was like, no. I said, no, 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 no. I'm like, please don't let my cousin be out there trying to fight him. Sign number two, this one gave it all away. He had on a Wolverine t-shirt. <laughs> any grown man that has that wears a Wolverine t-shirt to the movie theaters is not to be fucked with. Like I said, guys, I'm not gonna fight nobody with Velcro sandals, people who tuck their socks in to their pants, and like they tuck their pants and their socks in like that. People who wear dirty Air Forces, oh, oh no. And damn sure not no random guy that has on a Wolverine t-shirt. And I'm not talking about like a little dope Wolverine t-shirt. He had a full grown Wolverine t-shirt. It was yellow with the, it had all of that. And I was thinking, you know, my brother's and my brother, my skinny brother, he like, we gonna fuck him up. And I'm like, mm -mm, this y'all. Let me tell you something. Get him. Dr. Newsom. So as we leaving, you know, we thinking this guy, now everybody see how big he is. We thinking like, okay, you know, we get like, we like, okay, like he probably gonna leave. Like he probably gonna leave out the exit way. Mm -mm. He followed us. <laughs> he was walking with us. He was walking with us. So as we getting out the movie theater, everybody texting and they like, whoa, like, hey, he's kind of big, bro. So I'm like, I've been realizing. I'm texting him, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm texting my cousin, like, hey, don't be outside, red alert. He has a Wolverine t-shirt. My cousin dumb, he drunk. He like, I don't give a fuck. So as we're walking, it's like the glass doors when you leave out the theater. You know how a movie theater is, like you can see outside. I see my cousin right there like this, like pointing and doing this. I said, no. He's pointing, so the faster everybody walked, the, the slower I began to walk, because I'm like, I'm not, this man, he ain't not finna attack me. So my date, you know, she like, that's right, because he told me. Oh my God! Oh, and I'm telling her, I said, hey, this is the last time we're gonna hang out, because you're a troublemaker. So she like, that's right, he the one I told her. Like, she, I didn't know she was like this. She wasn't like that when we first started hanging out. So you know, you know those girls that be like, that's right, you told like, oh. Oh. Pointing all that stuff, her nails was doing that that noise they do when you. So I'm like, I'm like, oh no, I'm like, no, no, no. So the guy gets outside with his girlfriend, and the guy is big, like I told y'all, with the Wolverine T-shirt on. My cousin didn't even talk. He walked up and punched him in the back of the head, and that's when the shit show happened. Right then and there, I knew when my cousin, cause my cousin, he kind of big, he heavy handed, but when he hit him, and all the guy did was. He like held his head. Just kicked this man in the side of his head and didn't move it. And I think I I know what I seen, regardless if I was drunk. I had my crooked glasses on. I know what I seen. His eyes turned red. And he said, Come on. And my cousin was like, What the fuck? Like I could tell it scared him. He was like, ah. The guy grabbed my cousin by the head. My cousin still had the hat on with the with the glasses. And my cousin was like trying to swing and hit him. <laughs> he was punching my cousin in the head. Then my other brother, the skinny one, he ran out there. He had, he, like, you know those yellow cones? He picked one of those up and smashed it over his head. Can't. Oh, man! And the guy said, you want some too? He was, he had my brother by the arm. He was twisting it. And my skinny brother, he like, oh, he like, you gonna break it? Like, he yelling. So I'm still in the middle of the doorway. All my brothers and cousins are out there fighting this random guy. Next thing I know, my date runs out and jumped on his back. And I thought to myself, <laughs> I still have popcorn and shit in my hand. I'm like, oh no. I said, I don't know why she did this. 
he like he the guy did some tricky shit. Like she was on his back. He like pushed her up like in the air and then caught her on his shoulders and spent her. He's going for the F5. Oh, yeah. And she flew into a bunch of he F5'd her into my date got F5'd into a bunch of like we had outside this movie theater, there's a bunch of steel like chairs and tables. He like spent her and F like she flew far as shit. And all you heard was chill. Like all the glass her her, her coins came out her purse. Everything her Arizona can was on the ground, it was spilling. The lip the stuff was coming out of it. Where the ambulance? Where the ambulance? Why the She was like laying down, her friends was like, ah. So one of her friends ran out there like, no, he did like trying to punch him. He spared her. Christian, grab me that oh! Oh! I said, oh. And that's when I thought I was like, you know what? Not only is this man whooping my cousin's ass and my brothers, he beating up our dates. He demolished. When I can't, all right, so so after like he bestowed upon this ass whooping upon all of my, my people I was with, I finally came outside because I seen his wife like pulling him like, come on, babe. So I came out like, I'm like, oh shit. It's people, my cousins and them laying on the floor, my brother holding his elbow like, like this. Man, she fucked you up. <laughs> my, uh, my fat cousin that looked like Tasmanian devil, he like, he fucking wrinkled my hat. He rubbing his head. My date looked like she was unconscious. She was still on the ground. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Her friends was hovering over her, like fanning her. And I was just looking around at all the carnage and I'm like, Jesus Christ. I said, I told y'all, I told y'all. And then when we got in the car, like when we were leaving, cause I knew that was it. The night was over. I knew the girls wasn't coming back with us. That was it. I knew that wasn't gonna happen. My brother, my, my skinny brother, he was like, I, I, I need to go to the emergency room. He always wanna go. Whenever something wrong, he don't play around. He'll go right away. He was like, y'all gotta drop me off. He was rubbing his head, his elbow. He said he pulled it out the socket. <laughs> it was dangling. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like the whole car ride was quiet. Do, 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 do. And that's when I thought to myself, I was like, hey y'all, I text y'all. I said, I told y'all, don't fight him. I say he had a Wolverine t-shirt on. He had a big back. His back was like, he like he had like a skinny chest, but his back. Emoto. Esmeralda. I don't even know how you get that kind of back, or if you would, maybe it was a birth defect. Anyway, I told him I was like, "Hey y'all, don't fight this man." Nobody listened. So, moral of this story, guys: don't be a bully. At least, mom, not be done. The police, not be done. And if you gonna jump somebody, make sure everybody is prepared. Don't just go out there and attack first. Y'all need a battle plan, okay? Don't I don't condone. Don't jump though, but I'm just saying, you know, learn from learn from Brooke. We do dumb shit. You know what was crazy about that though, guys? When we got home, everybody was hurt. They needed a nap. Oh, you motherfuckers! And I was perfectly fine. And to this day, I still feel I feel good about my decision about not coming out that door. When when after the ass whooping, I came out like yeah, we're like what's up? Like what's up? Boy, you better get on out of here. Back. But he was he was way he was gone. Anyway, y'all, if y'all like this video, like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to tell another friend. Also, guys, if you if you want to get these guns now like this for your grandma and your grandpa, you already know what to do.